sea cucumbers have a really strange relationship with their buttholes. I'm Anna, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> to begin, let me just clarify that sea cucumbers don't exactly have a butt in the human sense. They have something called a cloaca, which is a kind of all-purpose opening. Lots of animals, including many birds, have a cloaca, which they use to pee, poop, and in some cases, mate. But sea cucumbers take this whole all-purpose thing a little further. To begin with, they actually breathe through their butts. Rather than using lungs, sea cucumbers take in oxygen by flushing water over organs called respiratory trees. And how does the water get into the sea cucumber? It's pumped in through the back door by the muscles of the cloaca. Sometimes bits of food get pumped in too, and at least some sea cucumbers don't let those bits go to waste. They can actually eat with their butts as well. Their respiratory trees possess some intestine-like properties and can absorb nutrients. To be clear, sea cucumbers probably prefer to eat with their mouths, but they won't turn down a tasty morsel if it happens to float in through the cloaca. Mmm, a tasty morsel. Finally, and perhaps strangest of all, small skinny fish called pearlfish make sea cucumber butts their home. Ooh, my dream house. Many pearlfish live peacefully with their sea cucumber host. They're what are called inquilines, which means that they're organisms that live inside of or in the home of another species but don't hurt it. However, some species of pearlfish are actually parasitic and eat the sea cucumber's reproductive organs along with other tissue. Mmm, gonads. Now, sea cucumbers have a bunch of defense mechanisms to avoid predators and parasites. One is the ability to expel and regenerate their internal organs. And for more on that, see my previous video on the subject. But they also have chemicals called saponins in their bodies, including in their cuvarian tubules, which are sticky strings that sea cucumbers shoot out of their cloaca when they're attacked. Saponins usually burst open the cells of the would-be predator or parasite. But pearlfish aren't affected, and scientists think it might be because they're covered in a relatively thick layer of mucus, which could protect them from the toxins. As a side note, harlequin crabs, which also live in and on sea cucumbers, may actually be attracted to their hosts by those same chemicals. Finally, sea cucumbers may have one more defense mechanism. Some of them have structures called anal teeth, possibly to keep the pearlfish out, though no one knows for sure if that's really what anal teeth are for. In many species, the fish can just slip in anyway. Long story short, sea cucumbers are really just gifts to curious people everywhere. The more I learn, the more I'm impressed with these guys. And with their butts. Ew. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have a question about sea cucumbers, leave it in the comments. And for more gross science, hit subscribe.